taking an outing to my sister-in-law's house because she got something new in her barn. Seth's been over here to see him though. He's gonna introduce us. Cutie. What, what's her name, Seth? Ginger. This is Ginger. She's a Highland cow. Isn't she cute? Hey, girl. She's got a hairdo. And this is Rosie. Flapping Jack. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Bad manners. <laughs> yeah. Apple, oats, apple and oats. <laughs> One's in my pocket. <laughs> here, oh, down here, down here. Oh, that's my finger. No. Day. I left my jacket in the basement, but I did get something to eat. I'm thinking clearly again. <laughs> Maybe I could organize this stuff in the basement. My blood sugar starts getting low and everything just starts going all kinds of directions. So I just opened up my lot and it's a 48 inch. I wasn't sure if that was the size I needed to order, but wow, it is close, y'all. Okay, so it does like a 24-7 cycle like sunrise sunset moon phase and i'll have to set all that up maybe i need to read some directions <laughs> we'll figure it out okay y'all found this weird setting that changes the colors to weird psychedelic <laughs> i don't know that the fish will like that too well Maybe we'll go back to normal so this is my box from aquarium co-op Got a little sticker, that's cool. Well, I was supposed to have some brine shrimp, but I don't see that. Interesting. Oh, I found the shrimp eggs. They were in a little small container, so we're gonna have to work on that. I think I'm gonna have to put them in my freezer for now, though. If I like these, I'll probably order a few more, but I wanted to try them out first. All right, so this is what it looks like in there. I like the size, it's a lot smaller, and it's got a little thing right here that you can set the temperature just by clicking it, and then it just flashes, and it goes back to what the tank temp is, so. This should be really easy to set. These in here are just really hard. You can't see them. Um, you just kinda have to go by this right here, and then you have to turn it in really small increments with the knob on the top that you have to open up the back of the tank, so this is gonna be really good. I got three of these. I may end up needing some more of those. These are really cool. All right, you guys, check out the plants. They look so good. I love these. These are called Amazon Swords, and they're pretty tall because this is a 75-gallon tank. And I really got to go get some more of these because I like to go across the back side with those. And then these are called Micro Swords. Those are really cool. I thought these would be really cool for the baby fry to, to go down into. If I could get these to spread out, I may have to get some more of those too. Um, I'm also going to put some of these in my greenhouse because I want to grow these and my greenhouse grows plants really well, even like aquatic plants. I usually put them down in tubs or just set up a little aquarium out there. I had a 55 gallon out there that had tons of plants last year. So good morning. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. 
It is a sunny Saturday here, which is so awesome. After all this rain we've had over the last two weeks, no sun at all. This is actually day two of the sun, so which is super good. I actually had to open my greenhouse window, and it's in the 30s outside, but it is in the 90s in here. It feels like July, which is, it's just so therapeutic, y'all. It feels great. Um, I am going to turn my vent fan on and let some of that airflow come through here. The plants will appreciate it. So this morning, I'm going to make a brine shrimp hatchery, and I'm going to do it with some mason jars, and I'm fixing to head in there to do that now. Um, my husband's starting a project. He's work Him and Seth are working on a new Murphy bed, so they got we got some wood for that last night, and they're going to start that project. So we just got a few things going on here today, but nothing too stressful. If you have a greenhouse, you need a vent fan. You're going to even have to have it in the wintertime. So I wasn't sure that would be something I would definitely need, but after having it for a year, totally. Y'all check out my seed starts. They're looking good. Um, this is my deal. And, you know, I could probably direct sow it outside as well. But I enjoy starting stuff in here. And when it comes time to where we can plant stuff here in our zone, I also sometimes set it out there. But I just see which one does better. These are just backups anyways. But this is oregano. And it's starting to get its true leaves. So I'm kind of thinning it out. That way it has room to, to grow. I used to raise baby chicks in here. But now it's a fish room. So I need a new sign. I love this sign though. I may put it down on my coop down the hill. But I need a really cute fish room sign. And this room is in the making. I started it last week and I had a bunch of supplies because this is not the first time that I've raised fish. After I started my greenhouse, I started fish about six months later because I knew they would kind of go really well with my greenhouse. And I've had them out there and then I've brought them in here because this is a really good controlled room for them. And I just love it. This is where I'm going to start my brine shrimp hatchery over there. This is what I've decided to do to hatch the brine shrimp eggs. Since they have to be at a good temperature of, I mean, 75 to 80 would be good. Closer to 80, they're going to hatch a little bit quicker. So the turnaround will be good as far as 24 hours versus 36. It would be easier for me, you know, just the next day to put some more in and have fresh ones every day. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put several jars down in here, which is not going to be a problem. But I'm going to start off with one jar and we're going to fill the water up. And then I'm going to put a heater in here and set my digital heater to 80. And then that should heat up the shrimp eggs enough for them to hatch in this little container right here and then I'll be able to retrieve them out of here pretty easily and that way if I want to put several jars in here I can have different hatches going all at once using one heater. All right, so in order to hatch the shrimp you have got to have salt water. I have to use a tablespoon of this per one liter which is a thousand milliliters which is one quart jar. So we're going to fill this up. 15 ml. Alright, so you don't want to dechlorinate this water because it'll help dissolve the shells and we'll just leave it just like that. Looks good. As long as the other water doesn't go in here and mess with the salt, I've got it just below the lid of the jar and we've got it heating and once it gets to temperature, I'll add the eggs. Now you want to drop an air stone in here because they're going to need some air. We'll come back after the water stabilizes the temperature. We'll come back after the temperature stabilizes and get it going. All right, so I had to have some lunch. I was hoping it'd warm up a little bit. I gotta head down to the chicken coop and check the baby chicks and see if everybody's got feed, gotta get eggs, but it is so cold. The wind will cut right through you. So I was hoping it'd warm up a little bit. Um, but on my way down there, I'm gonna go to the shop because Seth and my husband are down there now. We'll see what they're doing. Let's check this tank before I head down there. Let's see what the temperature is. I'm just loving these digital thermometers. Okay, so it's on 82. Let it drop just a little bit and then I'll put the shrimp eggs in there. Now I had a little guppy in here. She's one of the purple grass and I thought she was pregnant right there. So I put her over here to kind of drop some fry separately from the others because they will sometimes eat them and I did not want that to happen unless you have like heavily planted and lots of hiding areas which I am going to try to get some guppy grass so I can make some safe places in case one of the mamas drop fry in here while I'm not down here and I don't see it and that's happened before they'll have somewhere to go. Generally I'll put them over here but I did put her over here in a little breeder box 
and she looked kind of stressed. I don't know if it was just because she was by herself. Just a change going from one tank to the other. So I put her back over because she just looked unhappy and I did not want that to be. So we'll kind of watch her and if she gets closer to what I think is her delivery time, then I might move her over just for a little bit. But I don't want to leave her over there for several days. So yeah, we want to keep the fish happy and comfortable. <laughs> now I find that these guppies in here they love this big tank they're just so happy oh y'all it's wintry <laughs> I can't complain too much though the sun's out and it is you know February so we've got another month of good cold weather we haven't really had much snow this year maybe just some flurries here and there so I don't know what that's gonna be like as far as if we'll have any um, we can generally have snows in March and oddities will have snow in April. All right, chickens. Let's check y'all out. How y'all doing? Oh my, look at those babies. Look at those babies. What cuties. <laughs> They're starting to get white on them. Y'all can see them. They're hiding from me. Oh my, they're cute. I got two little frizzles. Hey there. Let's go to the shop and see what the guys are doing. It's 47 to 7 eighths. Are cutting the panels out from the bed. Got the frame here. Is it the same bed as you made the other one? It's the same design and everything? Same design, just this clean. Well, well. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> All right, so I think my aquarium is acclimated to the correct temperature. Yep, so let's get the eggs out of the freezer. They have to stay in the freezer or they'll like slowly hatch out or you can keep them in the refrigerator, but I have a freezer down here, so that's where they're gonna stay. We're gonna hatch about half a teaspoon and see how many I can get from that. Oh, they're tiny. Let's just go with that. We'll go with like a quarter of a teaspoon just because I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Do you see him? Mm-hmm. Whoa, that's probably going to be a lot. <laughs> and that has salt water in it for the shrimp to live in because they are salt water creatures. Uh, there they are. Give it 24 hours and see how many hatch out. 